Welcome to our homestead friends and welcome to our garden and orchard. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that a lot of people don't think is controversial, but it actually is, and that's using vinegar in your garden. Let's go. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. So first of all, we're gonna talk about what type of vinegar that people commonly use in the garden and we do use for one thing we will talk about later in the video. This is common white distilled vinegar. It's usually distilled or made from corn, GMO corn, so be careful. So you may want to buy an organic vinegar, which is available out there, but it's a little bit hard to find. This common white distilled vinegar is usually 5%. You can find it in 7% and rarely I've seen it at a 9% solution and it tells you it's just mixed with water to be that percentage. Now horticulture vinegar that you can find at some ag stores is upwards of 20 to 30% vinegar and it's basically for just straight killing weeds. And usually you do not dilute those vinegars, you spray them directly on your problem areas of weeds in the garden. So let's talk about the number one way that vinegar is used in the garden and that is as a weed killer. Why is that good and why is it bad? So it's good because it does kill the weeds and a lot of people mix it with soap and I do do that. This is not the reason I normally use it on the homestead, but I do do that to kill weeds up near the house on the sidewalks and the driveway. Some place that my food is not. And adding that soap into the mixture helps it to stick on the leaves of the weeds. Now, what that vinegar does is it burns and desiccates the leaves of the weeds. Now, for weeds that have weak roots, that will go down and will kill the entire weed. However, this does not really penetrate that far down to kill the roots of a lot of different weeds, especially like really tough grasses. And if you do use this to try to kill those, just keep in mind that it'll kill the leaves off and then the weeds will come back. Now here's a problem with using vinegar as a weed killer in your garden. You've got weeds mixed in with your plants normally and that vinegar is not going to discriminate. So if you get overspray from that vinegar and soap solution and it gets onto your fruits and vegetables, then it's gonna harm them as well and you don't want that. Plus, if you get too high of a concentration in the soil, then you're gonna have another problem. Point number two is vinegar is sometimes used to acidify soil on purpose for things like blueberries. So if you're using it to acidify soil for something like your blueberries, you're still going to want to dilute it. Vinegar is very strong. You don't wanna harm the roots of these plants. But keep in mind, if you're trying to do that and you've got blueberries, say, interplanted within your garden with other things and you try to acidify the soil, then you are definitely going to negatively affect those other plants in your garden. So this only really works where you've got blueberries, say in pots or completely separated like we have. Now it makes sense that they are going to be completely separated because blueberries do like an acidic soil, but I'm just warning you that wherever you put it, you're gonna turn that soil acidic and other things aren't gonna grow there very well. Now, if you're trying to use this as an insecticide, it will work with no problem. A lot of people use it to kill snails and slugs and aphids and things like that all over their plants. Now, there's three problems with that. If you use it in too high of a concentration, you're going to burn the leaves of your plants. Additionally, if you use too much of it, and it starts to get down into the soil, you're gonna acidify your soil. And lastly, it doesn't discriminate. So if you've got lace wings and ladybugs on there doing their work, but just not being able to overcome, say, an aphid infestation, then it's gonna kill those ladybugs and lace wings as well. Not good. So there's two other uses that are common that people use it for. Now, the first one is as a fertilizer. Well, in my opinion, that's not a good thing, and here's why. You can use an organic apple cider vinegar that's pretty good if diluted properly it may add some benefit to your plant soil but not very much at all there are so many other fertilizers out there that will add what you need to your plant soil and to your plants that there's no reason to risk using the vinegar 
on your plants as a fertilizer. I think that's just silly and too risky. Now actually something that you can use it for that's pretty decent is to clean out and sterilize buckets in your garden that you're going to be using for transplanting or things like that. It'll kill what's ever in those pots, especially your little transplant pots. So you can use it for that, but let's talk about the big reason we do use it or the, the only reason that we do use it here on our homestead. But before that, I'm going to talk about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. So if you didn't know, I'm always looking for ways to improve these videos for you. And that includes building my knowledge in video creation, editing, Photoshop, and other areas. If you didn't already know, Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes to help you acquire and learn new creative skills. Right now, I'm taking a class called Cinematography Basics by Zach Mulligan. My goal is to improve how our videos look so I can better visually communicate our story or the project. I am excited to continue learning and discovering new skills that I can utilize to grow the channel and present better information for you guys. To help you make 2022 a year of new learning and growth, the first thousand people to use the link in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. After that, they offer an annual membership for less than 10 bucks a month. Head below, click the link in the video description to start exploring today. So what we do use it for is bacterial and fungal control on our fruit trees. And we usually mix it in a one to two ounce per gallon ratio in a sprayer like this. And in the ratio we mix it, it's not going to burn or damage the plant. Now we're normally battling blight on our trees and you've seen in previous videos that we use copper and if it's so bad that we can't control it, then we'll use something called fertilome. But the vinegar is something that I would use first and it helps to control any or kill any uh, bacterial spores that have landed on the tree, especially on the trunk and on uh, some of the twigs or branches. And since it's a bigger tree, it's really not getting down into the soil in any large concentration at all. It's just basically overspray. So as an added benefit, if you're spraying your fruit trees and you've got any sort of bug infestation, it's gonna help to kill those off. But remember, it's not going to discriminate. Usually on this apple tree, we have mealybugs, and they only seem to attack this apple tree and some other trees on our property, usually apples. So at the end of the day, should you or should you not use vinegar in your garden? Well, I would say mostly no, but very rarely, yes. And if you decide to use it in your garden, just be very careful. Now go check out this video right here, which talks about our top six survival crops that you must grow in your garden. Have a beautiful blessed day, and we'll see you next time.